And we back in this thing again, y'all, ladies and Whoa, gentlemen. We back, Happy baby. 2020 to everybody. It's the Division Podcast. We've been e going for a minute. But we're back up in here. E22 in 2020. And happy yeah. happy 2020 to everybody. Happy I'm New Ryan year. Happy G. New Year. Happy New Year, man. R Ryan G, your moderator, fellas. Introduce, introduce. Fair, baby. Happy New Year to everybody, man. And I'm and I'm Mr. Taylor. Happy New Year. And I'm Reggie F. Baby, man. It's been two long weeks. Yeah. yeah. Nice little vacation. Fur, you had a new addition to the family. Yeah, Congratulations to you. Baby girl. Baby yes, girl yes, on yes. Friday, man. First girl. Shout so. out. Shout out to my niece. Right yeah. in time for Christmas. She huh? came yeah. January 3rd, two, the, 2020 at 11.22 in the morning. The best present you could ever get. London. Yeah. Welcome no to the family, yes. London. Yeah, my baby. Congratulations, Congratulations you and your little wife brother. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fellas, how was your holiday? Great, man. Great. Baby. I had a good like holiday. Said, it's great. Family, ate a lot, oh, got yeah. to chill out, relax Watch from work and everything. Good sports. Yeah, yeah, good sports, man. Good sports. Good sports. Football, basketball, everything. Yeah. Everything. Yes, we yes. Did. Yeah, it was great, man. Enjoyed the holidays. I'm glad with to the be family. back because uh, a lot of things that happened to some people's teams in here. Yeah. So, now, being that yeah, we've we, been we, out we're for gonna two weeks. We're going to get to that. We're talking about the holidays <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> being that we've been out for two weeks, we got a lot to catch up on. So, we're not going to uh, stay stuck on one thing too, too long. We're going to move it along and everything. Uh, football. We always start off with football. And being that we weren't up in here for the last two weeks of the regular season, we got the division standings to pretty much let everybody know how the playoffs were going to fall off. So this was the division standings, uh, the division winners, rather, for the end of the NFL season. The yeah. AFC North was won by the Baltimore Ravens. Best team in the league. AFC South was won by the Houston Texans. The AFC East was won by the New England Patriots. And the AFC West was won by the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. NFC North was won by the Green Bay Packers. The NFC South was won by the New Orleans Saints. The NFC yeah. East was run by the Philadelphia Eagles. The Bastards. Not the Cowboys. And uh, the <laughs> NFC West was won by the San Francisco That's three 13-win teams in one conference, bro. So that went here. 13 and 3 in one conference. Three. So that got us to where the playoff standings were set and everything. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. we got the playoff bracket. Now, the playoff bracket we about to show y'all is after the games from this weekend. But you'll be able to see what the first round matchups were. Correct. And we about to get into those matchups because a lot of our teams were there. We had the Texans and we had the Buffalo Bills. We had the Tennessee Titans going up against the Patriots. We had the Vikings over at the Superdome playing the Saints. And we had the Seahawks playing uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. And we're going to start yeah. off like we always do because we're in Louisiana. And there's a lot of sad people around here. We're going to start off with the Saints. And we're going to let the Saints fans go ahead and uh, hey, give you before, perspective okay, on what well, happened I'm and what not. I'm going to get to it. Because the way the brackets fall, I know it looked confusing. It's the highest seed get the lowest see on the other side and yeah. like that so i mean it, it looked Highest confusing lowest. yeah and i mean it kind of looked confusing on a bracket picture because the team swapped because i see the titans went from the bottom to the top so yeah yeah it's so kind of like the that. number one seed get the advantage of playing the lowest, lowest seed, seed that and the number two seed plays the so highest seed that advances for so everybody yeah. that didn't know that's yeah. how it works I mean, how, how, how and long you, to the how first long playoff you, matchup we're gonna get into the saints and, and this the Vikings. picture on here for so long <laughs> well, I just put it on there before I wanted to explain. Yeah, I, yeah, because it looks kind of confusing. Saints and the Vikings. Here we go. Break it down. Saints and the Vikings. Saints and the Vikings. Here it goes. I didn't watch it because I was upset from the night before and I went and played golf. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, you we went to release some stress. <laughs> well, what you got, Reggie F? What's up, man? Uh, we got a loss. <laughs> Short and, uh, and sweet. I got, I got a funeral that I'm gonna be attending. Short and sweet. Um, you know, we basically, it, man. man, look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you from my standpoint. Um. We're going to, this starts from the top, starting with Sean Payton, um, called a, a, a terrible game in my, my point of view. Um, we didn't use Kamara. Where was Kamara, you know, to uh, utilize him against the linebackers to isolate them and do what we normally do with that? We didn't do that. Um, the offensive line didn't block. The defense couldn't stop the run. And uh, the Vikings coaches seemed – like they out coach the coaches on offense and defense for the Saints. So we all and, too concerned. And also, and also, I hope that Lattimore got a, a a real good check and he got paid good enough because I don't know where he was at. I don't even think he knew where he was at. That's your best cornerback. And that's huh? our yeah. best cornerback. And he didn't know where the ball was. He didn't know where the defender was. I've never seen him play like that. Multiple times. And, it, you know, they all waited until this game to play their worst game. Drew Brees got his first fumble on a critical drive with like five minutes and because 40 seconds remaining. Because the offensive line wasn't blocking. Offensive line wasn't blocking. That contributed to it. 
Uh, he threw an ill-advised interception. I feel like nothing was happening, and he just tried to create a big play. He threw an interception that cost us some points. Drew Brees went 26-33 for only 208 yards. One touchdown, one interception in the playoff game. Taysom Hill pretty much looked like he was the only one that showed up for the game. You know, he was running the ball, throwing the ball, catching the ball. I mean, he the one who pretty much kept us in the game. Some people say what if about you had Michael Taysom Thomas? Hill at quarterback, y'all might have won. Nah, I'm not going to say that. We, we, can't we, can't, say that. we can't say that what would have happened and what wouldn't have happened. I just know that we didn't come to play ball that day. Yeah. And we didn't start playing until the fourth quarter. And then in overtime, we just, we just like I said, once again, uh, Lattimore got hurt. And then the play right after that is when they went straight to uh, Adam Thielen down the line, down the, well, by the goal line where he caught the ball at. Yeah. So they went straight after him soon as uh, Lattimore got off the field. In my point of view, if you could have still walked, you need to be out there on the field. This is a playoff game. We in, we in overtime. Well, I know uh, the Saints let it all hang out that last week of the season when they should have benched Breeze and put Teddy Bridgewater in to oh, finish the game. Oh, but you're the playing though. But you know, to be yeah, off. but they, 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 they was up thirty. No, we we, we had a reason. We had a reason. Thirty-five to three at halftime. We, we had a reason for that. We we was playing for the number one or number two seed. Yeah. We had to we had to win that halftime. game. We had to win that but game. But you got to win it by points, too, because it goes off of the strength. Yes. Here's yes. a fun fact. The no, Saints made it, history. Yeah, if it tied up. Saints if made it history. Up, the only team in NFL history with 13 wins that didn't get past the wild card. And, and it should and, be the and, only and, and, conference with 13 wins yeah, to you host just, you, a you, wild you, card you just game. Showed, you just showed exactly why a team that's 13-3 and three hosting a wild card game yeah. because they have – Three teams in our in our conference that that was thirteen what, and three. Thirteen and three. Forty nine of Saints so you, and Packers. Hey, Mr. Ryan, but y'all had a chance. Y'all played San Fran, but y'all played the Vikings. Y'all could have beat San Fran. Y'all lost to the Vikings, not a thirteen and three team. What are we talking about? We didn't lose to a thirteen and three team. We like y'all lost to the Vikings. Okay. Yeah, and the Vikings. Y'all lost to the Titans. The Vikings were the six. Y'all, y'all lost. Why to, we bringing up a thirteen and three conference? What they got to do because with it? Ryan because said because the no, they lost because in a of the because of the picture. He but that ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't got nothing to do with the picture. They got to do with thirteen wins. The Vikings. No, it said the thirteen wins. Vikings ain't had thirteen wins. No, the Saints did. He said that. What he saying? The Saints. What did that have to do with the Forty Nineers and Green Bay? The only way the Saints could have made history is. 13 Green wins Bay in a wild card. Green Bay and the 49ers hadn't even took a snap yet in the playoffs. I know right? one we're not, thing. We're not even talking about it. Where, where, where you okay, going? Where you're, y'all you're going? Right, you're right. Right. I'm trying to see where y'all going. I don't know. This. You done went somewhere else. We wasn't y'all talking. talking about the strength of the conference. No. And that ain't got nothing to do with losing All I know, Sunday when I came out the house and I tried to go out within the, the city and everything, <laughs> we boy, go, it was, was a lot of sad <laughs> folks around. Get on, man. A lot of sad, sad folks around here, man. I'm just saying, like, I felt it in the air, It's like the third meme you use on the same. I'm serious. How many memes do you have? No, I got two. That's two. That's three. No, you got another one coming. The first one was a stat. That was a stat. I have some for uh for the Patriots a too. A stat? I have some for the Patriots too. Uh, yeah, I got do. some for the Cowboys. Do you have anything for the Cowboys? We kept the playoff couch waiting for y'all. We've been waiting on Not y'all. Not one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they so so, so, so fired their coach. They fired their coach. Oh, no meme. You ain't got nothing. So with, you don't have no meme about Jason Garrett getting fired either. or y'all not even making the playoffs. Y'all you, letting the no, Eagles I got something about, win. No, I got something about. Uh, you don't have no memes of that? And whatnot. You I got know something about many Jerry okay. Jones memes they got since okay. week 16. Okay. okay. So we're going to talk right. about the memes now. Every week there's a meme that I done put out here because we was trash. The first time y'all get knocked out the playoffs, y'all want to look at me. Get out of here. Who's next? Wow. Oh, look, who's, who's, <laughs> who's, who's next? I've been you having memes you every be, you, week. You go next. You hear what he just said? Every <laughs> week. Come on, y'all. Say, take y'all who's, medicine, Who's next bro? to get their name? Take y'all medicine. You take y'all next, medicine, bro. You go, you go next, then. Take who's y'all medicine? Who's Let him go next. Who's next to get their memes? Patriots. Let's go with the Pats, man. Wow. I'll tell you what. The Pats took a tough loss to the Tennessee Titans. Ryan number three is unbelievable. seed. Hey, number three you seed at twelve and four. Had to go and uh, host the Tennessee Titans, and we took a tough loss, twenty to three. Titans with and, the uh, six seed. Let's say that lost uh, on a game ending, season ending pick six from Tom through the uh, go, Logan Ryan. Derrick Henry went crazy, and uh, you know it was just uh, it was a good game, and <clears> we <throat> had several chances to win the game. I'll be honest, Tom. 
threw for 209 yards. <laughs> uh, Breeze threw for 208. Sony, yeah. Sony Michelle yeah. couldn't get the ball, couldn't run the ball. Drew, uh, Tom Brady showed his age. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ryan, shout out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Put him and Drew up, Brees yeah. got I the had, same well, stats. Hold on, but why Why he showing Drew Brees and we just talked about the same? <laughs> no, it's a comparison, God. man. Why are you so salty, bro? This it's a comparison. Crazy. They want th that's Tom stats and that's Drew stats. What's wrong with that? I want to see, I wanna, I wanna see a cowboy that's stat. From the, we didn't play in the playoffs. Show, <laughs> show me that. Show me a, a meme or something with that. I'm just repeating what Waylon was saying. Come on, man. It's Continue, time, man. Continue, we man. Lost, we Continue, lost to man. a good Tennessee Titans team. They beat the Chiefs. They beat a bunch of teams. A this good year. Tennessee. Was they record? They in the playoffs. Was they record? They in the playoffs. Was they record? The Vikings was. What is the? They said they was thirteen and three. What was the Tennessee? What was the Tennessee Titans record? <laughs> well, I tell you like what, this. Is, what is the Tennessee oh, Titans now record? This one here. Now that see now, now I thought we wasn't doing trashy now. <laughs> this, trashy. Oh, but we can't do a belly out. Oh, oh my what's God. wrong with that? That's oh, wow. that, that's Bill right. and Tom for Se everybody. Security <laughs> escort there. For, oh, hey, for wow. everybody that uh that's down on Tom, I tell you like this. Tom finished seventh in the league with four thousand fifty-seven yards, thirteenth in the league with twenty-four touchdowns. Eight interceptions, uh, 61% completion percentage, and Julian Edelman finished 18th in the league in receivers, uh, 1,117 yards. And the Titans went into the game 9-7. and seven. Yep. They come in there with some steam, and uh, they went on the road. Good running team. Best running back in the game. They ran. He led the league crazy, in bro. rushing. Against the Derek number Henry. one defense. This is true. Against, quote, unquote, yep. the number this one is defense. True. This yep. is true. I'll tell you what. I mean, I wasn't happy with the way. We really wasn't even supposed to be playing last week. We beat the Dolphins the last week of the season. And we get a bye week. Y'all was supposed to be playing. Y'all was supposed to be playing. But y'all had lost to the Dolphins. No I stuff think. About. Lost we wasn't supposed yeah, to be playing. we lost playing. to the Dolphins. You so. didn't take care of your business. You're supposed to play the next week. Yeah. So Period. Pretty much. We supposed to took care of our business. This we is should, all the Bird only one that got a team still left the in there. What? So I this is the playoff. We should have handled our business against the Yeah, y'all should have. Especially to be able to sit out on the next round. So we deserve to be sitting out with the Saints. I think I was waiting on y'all. need to. We was waiting on y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read it for y'all since y'all can't see it. You see, you got Dak saying, you guys thought y'all were going to make it to the Super Bowl too. You know what I'm saying? And then Tom telling Dak to shut up. You didn't even make it to the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? He doing stories. You got Drew over there to the Well, I'm saying it for y'all if y'all can't see it. Can you see it? If you can see it, I ain't going to say nothing. I can he do it like that. It's the Giselle. playoff couch, man. Why y'all salty? Boy, y'all salty. That's sad. Y'all some soul losers. I, I think I think I think y'all some soul losers. I think Tannehill. I think, Tannehill. I think the most. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was? Yeah, that's, that's Tannehill in the bed with Giselle. <laughs> No, and, and that, that was in a restaurant. And tell them to tell Tom to get out. That's in a restaurant. That's Boy, the little cat. That's the little cat, man. What are you saying? Oh, Ryan, y'all crazy, I think, man. I think if anybody's <laughs> salty, it's you. Why if am I any, salty? Because no, you showing all your saltiness. Well, how? Oh, you, you, you how? went you went. It seemed like you up. just couldn't wait. I've been salty wait. all season. It you, seemed like you couldn't no, you, you I couldn't wait. Up, you I loaded up on everybody but the Cowboys. You like, loaded up win. on everybody but the Cowboys. Because I was trying to get at my Saints people, but they were went missing for two days. But but, but y'all didn't make the happened. playoffs. No, we didn't. Listen, the two weeks that we was gone, y'all mm -hmm. didn't make the playoffs, and you don't have nothing for that. Hold on. Did y'all win a playoff game? We didn't win uh, a playoff game. There you go. We didn't make it. We didn't win one. Y'all got there and y'all didn't win one. So we made it to the playoffs. Y'all right? made okay, y'all made it there. Yes. That's, Wonderful. And we won and, the division. And, and the we Saints won, won our division. conference. Wonderful. We accomplished something this year. We Banner won our boy. conference and we went there. Banner boy. Yeah, you what, what do you have? A wish? <laughs> wish we boy? got a coach. We got a super <laughs> bowl. We got a coach, coach now. <laughs> Wish boy. Wow. Let's move it on. Let's see. We got the Seahawks and the Eagles for Grim. Grim not here, but Grim don't never represent his squad or whatnot. Yeah. Seattle and uh Philadelphia. Seattle went over here, handled business 17 to 9. DK Metcalf. He had a day. He had uh seven receptions for 160 yards and a touchdown. He's special. Uh yes. He's Carson nice. Wentz got knocked out of the game early by uh, really special. by Clowney. A lot of people were trying to say it was a dirty hit. I don't believe so. It just happened that he got hit in the head. And <clears> his head went into the ground, and then he had a concussion, and he couldn't come back. So Seattle ended up moving on. And the last one that I don't have a graphic for, Mr. Deshaun Watson. I believe we watched this game at your house, Reg. Uh, it was the <laughs> Texans. And the Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Deshaun came Watson. Out up. I thought, I thought yeah, Buffalo they was lost take it. They game. blew it. Yeah, they had a sixteen. They blew team. it. What y'all think about that touchdown they called back? Because the dude didn't take a knee. He didn't fair catch when he, it. Uh, threw the ball to and the referee. He just threw the ball to the ref, and the ball. They the say it's off a of body language. That's cool. I understand that. Body language. When we start doing that, 
Well, I mean, you could tell Did you gave yourself play up, Deshaun though. Watson man. made, man. You, when, you, when you kick return and you catch a – you call a fat catch or you let it go in the back of the end zone or you catch him taking take a knee. Deshaun Watson won that game for them balls. I tell you what, man. Because he could have got sacked by two players that were converging on him at one time, and I don't know how he spun out of there. Well, I, t- I, t- the you, I tell you what. They, yeah, are, the, they, they, are, they are the best football team in Texas. I can guarantee that. I agree with you on that. Well, yeah, for this the season, yeah. Best. Yeah, yeah. That's, and there's they, no they're doubt gonna about be that. the best for a long shout time. Shout out to my brother. He a big Texans fan. He clowned yeah. after the game. Shout out Floyd. to the real shout, shout out to the, shout real, out to the Texas real winner. Football. A real winner. Shout, okay. shout out Finally. to shout out to real Texas. While holding football. Texas on the back. So right we now. have the playoff schedule for next week. Real. And we have the teams that are actually playing real Texas in the playoffs football. next week or whatnot. And we're gonna give H our picks. Time, baby. H we're gonna, time. We're gonna give our H picks time. for the divisional playoffs. Saturday, these are the games. We got the Vikings at the 49ers, we got the Titans at uh the Ravens. Sunday, we got the Texans at Kansas City, and we have the Seahawks at Green Bay. Now, before we go ahead and give our picks. Uh, the ESPN Power Index, they gave their percentages on who they think is going to win. And with the biggest percentage of winning is Baltimore. They got an 81% chance to beat Tennessee. First time ever we don't want to see, man, ever. Yeah, and y'all got an 81% chance of winning. Ever. Second is Kansas City with an 81% chance of winning over uh, the Texans. Uh, third is Green Bay with a 66% chance of beating uh, Seattle. And San Fran, 66% chance of beating the Vikings. How y'all feel about that? Yes, cool. I like I like the Titans. You like the Titans? <laughs> <laughs> he must like their jerseys or something. I guess I don't know. I, I, still, I don't know about I, the talent. I still wise. like the Saints. <laughs> Let, let's give our picks, man. Let's go. Vikings at Forty uh, Niners. Give me the Forty Niners. Mm. Yeah, Forty Niners. Forty Niners. And then I think they're getting uh they're getting one of their uh linebackers back. Juan Alexander, I believe he's coming back. So no. they're they're gonna be fully loaded. Yeah. Titans at Baltimore. They Titans. Are ready, they are ready for the loading. He <laughs> don't mean that. Titans. Baltimore. Like Derrick Henry. Baltimore. Man. Like Derrick Henry and what Tannehill doing? But watch. But watch Derrick Hill. Though. I, Derrick I'm, Hill I'm, I'm I'm taking Lil, Derrick Hill. I mean Henry. Oh, Derrick Henry. Okay. I'm taking Lil Platt. <laughs> wow. You got the Ravens. Let's wow. do this. Texans at Kansas City. I'm going with the Texans. <laughs> He I'm, he I'm he, he lit Kansas. he lit him up this year I'm gonna go Kansas already. City. Kansas City defense Deshaun, has really Deshaun, played well. The Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson already lit him up, lit him up this year. Andy Reid with two weeks though. Two I, weeks like to prepare. I like Kansas. I like and Kansas. And the defense has been. I'm going so with H time. Tyra Matthew playing some good ball. JJ right. JJ, yeah. JJ yeah, White yeah, back. Exactly. He H time. JJ White back. Seattle Seahawks at Green Bay. Seattle. I'm gonna take. I'm taking Russell Wilson. You can't stand Aaron Rodgers. He's the worst. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Seattle, man. I'm taking Russell Wilson. Only upset of the. Uh, gonna be I'm taking weekend. Sierra. Yeah. I mean Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking Green Bay because they playing at Lambo. I mean, if you're not gonna do nothing with that, come on, man. man so you been wanting to get playing at Lambo all year. You're the number one seed. It's you just like playing in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna end up eight and eight. That's <laughs> all you got, Red. That's you gonna, it. You gonna he end just want to talk about you. That's he, all. He, that he yeah, up, he just want to get something. Let's you. move it along, man. You're gonna end up an adolescent. We got. Can the, we talk about my Ravens? Please? We have. Oh, you want to talk about? <laughs> you didn't even want to talk about the Ravens. I mean, I just want to say we yeah, set. Go, go we set I the mean, NFL let, rushing let, let record him, let this year, bro. Let him get his shine on, Ryan. He's the only team left in the playoffs. We set the all-time rushing record as a team, bro. With a total of three thousand two hundred ninety-six yards, and that record been standing for forty-one years. So we just did some real. Congratulations, All time ish. Y'all looking like y'all y'all favored to Type win the things. Super Bowl. Shout out to Ozzy Newsom and John Harbaugh and Greg Roman and Greg Roman too. And stepping outside the box and uh Go and get Lamar. Yeah. And introducing been... something to the NFL that we ain't seen in a long time. Yeah. And it's gonna be like this. Yep. So y'all gonna take it for y'all going all the way, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why you not? See. We didn't beat we didn't beat half the teams in the playoffs already. Yeah, it's beating them a second time, though. That's the nah, thing. it don't matter. We're going to see, though. I'm rooting for y'all, man. I'm rooting for Lamar because a lot of people slept on him. A lot of people tried to hate on him and whatnot. Now he's in this position. I hope he make the most of it. Nah, make well, up for what happened to uh, last year. Well, I'm rooting for the Titans. <laughs> Let's go Titans. I wonder why. They don't have not I one of those quarterbacks why. in, in the, the playoffs. playoffs. Here we go. <laughs> Put Passing leaders, your top five. And like Reg said, all of them, none of them made the playoffs. <laughs> got Jameis Winston, he was your passing leader to end up the season with over 5,000 yards. Sure. Dak was second. And Jared Goff was third. Yeah. Philip Rivers was fourth. And Matt Ryan was fifth. Yeah. None of them made the Winston, playoffs. Winston ended the season with a pick six. And that, that was his whole season right there. So people talk about passing, passing, passing. 
30 I touchdown, 32 I interceptions. Saw, uh, Bruce, like that. Bruce Arians say he, they can win without Jameis. Yeah, he did say that. I saw that. Man, right I, at the I, end of the season. Well, I've been said that two years ago. They got a decision to make because he just passed for 5,000 Jay- yards. Yo, Russian yeah. leader, the Russian leader who ended up the season was Derrick Henry. The one that ate the New 15, England Patriots alive last week. Yep. He finished first. Nick Chubb finished second with 1,494. Christian McCaffrey finished uh, third with 1,387. He also had over 1,000 yards receiving Christian McCaffrey, so, yep. he, so he gets extra credit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and extra checks. Zeke had 1,357. He finished fourth. And Carson, he got hurt for the year, 1,230. Only, only one playoff running back up there. And for the receiving leaders, Michael <laughs> Thomas ended up being the number one receiver in the league, 1725, which that's, a, that's, that's an close. enormous number, 1725. 1725. Yeah. The second one was Julio with 1394, so that was a big, huge Ooh, gap in between them. Yards, Godwin, 30, 1333. He should that, still be getting Devante, yards now. Devontae Parker came, back, came on strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Travis Him Kelsey was fourth. And, uh, yeah, he Parker came out of him. nowhere. I think uh, Tampa Bay would have did better with Fitzpatrick. Now for defense, we usually don't do defense, but since it was the end of the season, we had missed two weeks. Your sack leader, the end of the season, 19 and a half sacks, Shaquille Barrett, Tampa Bay Bucks. Y'all thoughts? Uh, That's good, I guess. I mean, man. hey, man. He, Tampa he, Bay he, 19 and a half. That's hey, a he number. have all the sacks. I mean, it's, yeah, not, it's I mean, no, nothing really to argue. You can't question that. <laughs> I can't 19 say nah, sacks. I mean, that he, need to, he need to get up there and, and thank Jameis Winston for giving the ball to the other team so they, much. They have six. The they, they play 16 games and he yeah, got 19 he, sacks. He yeah. on the field a and, lot. And, and Jameis so. Winston keep him on the field. So, yeah. He your tackle leader, your tackling title, Bobby Wagner, 159 tackles. Yeah, he tackle a brick wall if you have to. And you had three that got tied for the interception title. Anthony Harris from the Vikings, Stephon Gilmore from the Patriots, and Tredavious White Tredavious from Buffalo. Tredavious White, from LSU Buffalo. Tiger. Six picks apiece. Former LSU Six Tiger. Six yep. picks You're piece. looking at the best cornerback in the game. Six in the picks, back, no, back, yeah. no playoffs no more. Stephon Gilmore, <laughs> the best one in the game. Yeah. Now, what well, we got to close it could, out, too, with football. Couldn't stop Derrick Henry. Your AP All-Pro first team offense. This is uh, doesn't matter the conference. This is your AP All-Pro first team offense. Your quarterback was Lamar Jackson. Your running back was Christian McCaffrey. And your flex was Christian McCaffrey. So they put him at both positions for first team offense. Your first team wide receivers was Michael Thomas and DeAndre Hopkins. Tight end was George Kittle. Your left tackle was Ronnie Stanley from the Ravens. Uh, Right tackle was Ryan Ramchek from the Saints. Your left guard was Quentin Nelson from the Colts. Uh, Right guard was Zach Martin from the Cowboys. And your center was Jason Kelsey from the Philadelphia Eagles. And going to the defensive side of the ball. All right, the Saints have two up there. Defensive Saints side of the have ball. two up there. Uh, your AP All Pro first team defense. You had Chandler Jones and TJ Watt on the edge. Your inside lineman Aaron Donald and Cameron Hayward. Your linebackers were Bobby Wagner and Demario Davis. Uh, he's from the Saints. Uh, your linebacker man. also yes, Eric man. Kendricks. Your cornerbacks were Stephon Gilmore and Tre'Davious White. Tre'Davious White had a season ball. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. Your safeties were Jamal Adams and Mika Fitzpatrick. Jamal Adams. And your defensive backs, Marcus Peters. LSU Tiger. Marcus Peters started balling once he left the Rams and went over to Baltimore. Best secondary in the league. All pro first team. That's going to be the reason we win the Super Bowl. I'm Tyron Matthew and Marlon Humphrey. Y'all got two DBs. Uh, quite best a secondary team. in the league, man. Yeah, and Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas, he's. He and, couldn't make a pitch for all pros. And we have bro. quite a few uh, LSU Tigers up there, too. And special teams, uh, Justin Tucker, your kicker, Brent Curran, your punter, Cordero Patterson, yeah. your kick returner, punt returner, Deontay oh, Harris. Oh, here's another Saint. And uh, Matthew Slater, special teams. Ooh, man, yeah, we yeah. should still be Harris playing gonna be right special, now. Yeah. Harris going to be special. We should still be playing come. right now with all these people up there. <laughs> so that's all your all pros, man. Look that's your all pros Look and whatnot. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let it go. I, want, uh, it's, I can't let it go right now. Yeah. And, uh, the refs, the refs should have called that pass interference at the end of the game. Yeah, I they mean, got some. They, they had a bunch of changes it was, that, that have been made in they, the NFL. They since, made uh, that the change the to make those calls, and it, they should have called it. Tony Dungy said they should have called it, and you know he's Come very, on, man. he's very breaking smart. news. The Cowboys <laughs> hired very Mike McCarthy. The Redskins hired Ron Rivera. Hold up. First of all, first of all, Jason Garrett got, got fired. fired. 
What's, Thank you. Well, what's to hire somebody, you got to fire somebody. Well, right? let's talk about the firing first. Yeah, let's talk about big, how, and the reason because big, the firing. Yeah, how they I, took yeah. long. Oh yes, yes. Let's talk about it. Let's I elaborate. Wait for to get fired. Y'all want to talk about it? We yep. got time. We yes. got time. We got time. Yep. Okay. Well, what I, exactly y'all want? I talk need about a Cowboys it? fan analogy on why Jason Garrett got fired because from the first game. The second game and third game when y'all was three and zero, he was it was this one. high. You, it was yay high. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then they lost the fourth, fifth, and sixth game. Now they three and three. We now also got like, ah, we ain't got a coach now. Hold we on. don't know if yeah. he can coach now. Hold on, you gonna let then me respond? Then they won two. You gonna let me respond? Go hey, ahead. We also had a number one seed with Jason Garrett two times, but during his tenure there, he's not a good coach. He's just not. Oh, so you get a with number, a number one, one seed, seed two without times a coach, and you're not a good coach. Yeah, because when it came to playoff time, we did like the Saints and got knocked off first round. No, well, you, let's do this yeah. then. You yeah. didn't do like the I Saints. I saw an interesting <laughs> stat the other day. Okay. Since 1996, Ooh, since 1996, the Cowboys won four playoff games. Oh, that that's ain't true. J- Whoa. That ain't that's Jason true. Garrett's fault. Wow. That's what I'm trying. Woo. And Jason well, Garrett. He's Jason been Garrett. Garrett Woo. Woo. Jason Garrett haven't been coaching since 1996. Like Rick Ferris said. Woo. Well, I mean, folks, <laughs> playoff yeah, games. Come what on, y'all man. want to say? We haven't been a good team. I've said it on here. Average How at you best. get a number one seed? Average at best. Two, two, three years ago, we had that. Average at best. Average at best, bro. Like I the, said. You are what your record says you is, and our record this year <laughs> said we was average. Right. Period. Right. Yeah, Period. Yeah. Y'all had Period. won a Super Bowl in 24 years. Yeah. Yeah, and? Y'all won one. So it's, y'all it's, it's, it's entire not Jason existence. Garrett. It's not easy to win Super Bowls, bro. Do. It's not easy to win we Super Bowls. So down. one is really good. We got the only team winning multiple is the Patriots, bro. We got college championship to talk about. We got NBA to talk about. This is what y'all want to get caught up in? You still well, ain't elaborating. Well, really? well, we just go. We just touch it. I on get. The I get the elaboration. I said we're average at best. What else do you want? A pint of blood? But well, what, what else do you want? How did your season turn out to where? Because we sucked, fur. We were not good. What else you want? What else you want to say? No, no. How did? Because you're grinning over there. Is that what you want? Look, that's what you want. Y'all pro. We suck, bro. We suck. Ryan. We suck. Ryan, we suck. Listen, we suck. Y'all prolong. And at the end of us sucking, listen, we didn't win a playoff game, and y'all didn't win a playoff wow, game. Listen, go by, go by Bam. Listen this. Right. Done. Let's go. Y'all man. prolong well, I, the firing of Jason Garrett. <laughs> I didn't prolong that. How did y'all come to the decision of Mike McCarthy? He's a Super Bowl winning coach. And what does that mean? That's yeah. the guy. That's the yeah, guy. He from has a Green Super Bowl Bay. under yeah, his belt. The one that got fired, like everybody that don't games. know, that's the guy from Green Bay. Yeah, everybody know who. Not yeah, and he got is. fired after the third or fourth and, game of the season. And he made his living off of Aaron. And Rodgers. he made the playoffs nine out of Ooh. eleven years. Well, I, I saw who today did? nine out of eleven years. I saw who today did? McCarthy. He did his, he did his uh-huh. press conference. McCarthy. He's a better coach than so Packers Wait, in the playoffs so right now. Yeah. So you won nine. So you went. He went to the playoffs nine out of eleven years. Yeah, and won one. Well, I'll tell you this. He, uh, and made, the Packers in the playoffs, okay. though. So, I mean, so, so what? So, why wouldn't LeBron go do what he oh, did? Oh, we're not even <laughs> we're not doing that. Let's move on to college, Look what he bro. did. Look, Look what he did. Well, see, Ryan, 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 Ryan. What's up? Hold on, Ryan. They had Ron Rivera from, from the Panthers got yeah. fired. Yeah. yeah. He's not working for the Redskins. And, and that, that was a good hire. That was a good Freddie hire. Freddie Kitchens for the Browns got fired. They still in search of a of a coach. They said they're going to do a GM. The Giants fired they coach. They, they already coach. replaced him with Joe Judge. Who uh, is Joe Judge? A uh, special team coach for the Pats. Yeah, for the Pats. So there was a lot of people mad about. And that. also, also the Carolina, the Carolina Panthers hired uh, uh, the coach from Baylor, Coach Mark Rule. Yep. And uh, he was forty-seven and forty-three his career at Baylor, but uh, in two thousand nineteen, he went eleven and three. They gave him a seventy million dollar contract. They gave yes. him sixty million, but he can earn up to seventy million. And right now, he's like the fifth highest paid coach right now in the That's NFL. Crazy. Got a lot and of ne- and never coached the game. Well, you I had a lot this. of people got getting mad. They had a bunch of uh, coaches. See, bro, we can't say nothing. See, yet. but but look, can't the game, that. the game. This is how the game done changed. This is why the NFL done changed because. <laughs> I, if, if if you would have noticed years ago, this is when the pattern started, where the NFL coaches started getting college coaches and bringing the college game to the NFL level. Yeah. So well, that's I'm why a, you have. This. That's why the NFL look I'm like it looks now. I'm gonna say this before now. we move on. You in know, a passing league. Well, they they you know the NFL put that Rooney rule in the play and all that, where they had to interview at least one minority coach and all of that. So. Uh, you know, it was just a lot of that, and a lot of minority coaches, good minority coaches, getting got skipped pa- over, got passed on because yeah. of this rule guy and uh, this Joe Judge guy, and, like the uh, offensive the coordinator from just, Kansas just City, just like uh, like Jerry Jones, he hurry up and hire. I mean, interviewed uh, Marvin Lewis just to 
say I did it. Satisfy the rule. Oh, it's all of them. It's all of them. All the owners doing it. Satisfy the rule, knowing he was gonna go and hire Mike McCarthy. Because you got old boy. You got old boy. Bring in one minority. You got old boy from the Kansas City Chiefs. He's been winning for two years. They high flying offense. Yeah, he's with Andy Reid. Yet he doesn't even get an interview. Yeah. Nobody even yep, interviews yep, him. Yep, you got yeah. Le Leslie Frazier, Buffalo Bills, one of the best defenses. They gave him yep. one year, I believe, with the Vikings. He won a playoff game with Christian Ponder, yep. and he never got a chance again. Same thing it's, like it's with crazy, uh, Steve Wilkes that's uh, coaching for the defense for the Browns right now. I well, mean, if they don't want to choose the best coach at the time, yeah, that's true. That's then on them. you know what? That's going to be their season. Yeah, that's on them. That's going to be their season. You got to give them opportunities. But, though, you know, man. they had a bunch of changes. And, yeah, uh, hey, that's your team, though. If you don't want to win, hey, have what it. that look like. That's it. Before have we get into college, we got mock draft because uh, uh, a lot of teams are getting ready to – Go into the draft. They didn't make the playoffs, so we got the top ten teams right here. And the worst they're looking on getting. That's uh, the worst ten teams. Actually, first gonna go ahead and cut you off. I'm sorry, but we're gonna run through that real quick before we get to the college. Uh, the mock draft has Joe Burrow going number one to the Cincinnati Bengals. Have uh, Chase Young from Ohio State going number two to the Giants. Have uh, Iowa Tristan Wirfs, I believe that's his name, offensive tackle, going to the Redskins at number three. They got Tua going to the Miami Dolphins at the four pick. They got uh, Derek Brown, D tackle from Auburn, going to the Falcons with the fifth pick. They got A.J. Expensia from Iowa, Edge Russia going to the Detroit Lions. Uh, Andrew Thomas, offensive tackle from Georgia, going to the Cardinals with the seventh pick. Jeffrey Akuda from Ohio State, cornerback, going eight to Jacksonville. Jerry Judy, wide receiver, probably best wide receiver in the country from Alabama, going number nine to the Jets. And they say that Justin a bear from uh oregon is going to be going number 10 to the charge now so that's just is a mock from? draft a mock, where's the mock draft from yahoo yahoo yeah because i saw some other drafts where um they not 100 percent sure that uh the bingo is going to take joe burrow and yeah pass on chase young it's hard to pass on chase young oh, man y'all yeah, say this dude this dude like six seven two seventy yeah. yeah and he is but if you need a quarterback you ain't you got to have the quarterback they still have Andy Dalton. They still have Andy Dalton, man. I would, I would. They don't believe in Dalton. They ain't got Dalton. They, they, they don't believe in Dalton. 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 Hey, the first couple know, games, man. the first couple games of the season this year, he was lighting it up. College and football. Then they, and AJ Green got hurt. We not, I think we, you got that new coach, and, and he, go sit down he want to bring in his own guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just see that. And AJ Green don't want to be there no more. Shout out Chase Young. He a part of Clutch Sports, which is LeBron's uh, yeah. agency. So. Shout out Chase Young. Shout out the NFL, man. Yeah. Season winding down, and I can't we're gonna wait have for the more. Next we're gonna have other divisions. Yeah, next week we're gonna be playing to go to the Super Bowl. We'll be talking about the Titans next week. We're gonna be talking about it. <laughs> so this. going on to college now. <laughs> uh, before we took wow. our break, we had a mm -hmm. preview of the college games that were coming up, <laughs> and we had some scores for the big college games. We're gonna get to the semifinals in a second, but just to kind of let y'all know what happened, the Cotton Bowl. We had uh, Memphis. And Penn State, Memphis beat Penn State. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Penn State beat Memphis 53-39. to That was in the Cotton yeah, Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Memphis was having a good season, too. Had the Citrus Bowl, Alabama beat uh, Michigan 35-16. to Jim Harbaugh. He needs to go back to the Jim NFL. Harbaugh. Seriously. <laughs> like, seriously. No, he needs to go fishing. I mean, he playing Alabama, though. He playing Nick Saban, so y'all don't down him like that. Oh, I mean, he, yeah, he, he, he loses all playing. the big games. Did you see what he, 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 what he did all games. Yeah, He did it all year for uh, So yeah. he playing Alabama, so down Nick Saban too. The Outback Bowl, we had Auburn losing to Minnesota. That was an upset. I, I was kind of surprised. That was with a this good one. game. Minnesota is good, though. Yeah, Minnesota was pretty good this year. Minnesota was really good. Yeah, yeah. Defensive I know, but, for sure. but, it, but it was, true, it was truly an upset, though. Yeah. Rose Bowl, you had Oregon and Wisconsin. Oregon won by a point in the Rose Bowl. That was a good game. That was a good game, too. I watched that game. See, I, we we got I was these, actually going for Wisconsin. We got all Wisconsin. these bowl games, and these should just be playoff games. That's they what are. We doing all these bowl games. I mean, just make a big playoff bracket. This hey, might yeah, be a but reason why here. But, Orange but I, Bowl. I'm like Ryan, though. You have some teams that's not even going to be able to the compete with the Orange Bowl, top three. baby. The Orange Bowl. The Gators, 36-28 over Virginia. That was a good win for y'all. That's way. right. We, we, SEC. They, they, SEC. They scored some points at the end of the game. Virginia? They, they barely beat Virginia. Virginia. No, they, you want Virginia in the playoffs? They barely beat You want Virginia in the playoffs? points at the end. You want Virginia in the playoffs? That was the, end, that was the ACC run-up. And you want there was a reason there was a run up because Clemson. So, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they beat. They lost to Clemson. That's if the, you have Virginia playing LSU or Clemson in the in the in the playoffs, you want that in the playoffs. Was, uh, as an eight seed or something. Keep it to four teams, right? Y'all y'all played the basketball team. 
the Cavaliers because I never heard of the football team. The Fiesta Bowl. Well, they was nine and <laughs> Starting with the nah, semifinals. No, dis- nine and three this year. No oh. disrespect. No disrespect to the Virginia Cavaliers. Ohio State, Clemson. Clemson beat Ohio State twenty nine to twenty three. This yep. was a good As game. I thought, good that's game. what I thought would happen. Trevor Me Lawrence too. stats for this game three hundred and sixty six total yards. I took three sunshine. Touchdown. Hey, he good. Yeah, he the truth. I, I he took, good, man. I, t- I took sunshine. You know he's a sophomore. In that game. He good. You know he's just a yeah. Sophomore. He'll be back. Yeah. So he's not even coming out till next year. Yeah, he'll be back. Yeah, he'll and yeah, that's he, if he go. As a matter of fact, I, I I mean I'm not gonna win as much money as I should have did this year, but I'm gonna put the money on Trevor next year. For the Heisman. Uh, yeah, next year. Yeah, he's going to be your Heisman hopeful next year. He had that one run for 65 yards. And, I mean, the athleticism yeah. for somebody that tall, I think he's like 6'6". I think, six, that, six. I think that's too slow against the LSU defense, though. Okay. We're yeah, going to see. He's not coming out on top. Look, look at this. Look at this, man. 63 to this. 28 in the Peach Bowl. Look at this. 63. This is the Final Four game, actually. Ohio, right. no, not just the Peach Bowl. Oklahoma was the fourth team in the country. <laughs> And Number they gave four. up 63 points to LSU. D- luckily, they stopped. Joe Burrow. It could have been easily 80 490 points. 493 yards. He accounted for eight touchdowns. <laughs> Come on, man. Most most Come of that was man. in the first half. Yeah, he had like eight five touchdowns. in the first half. I told Ryan, like five. Wow. Man. And he, he also rushed for one of those. So this yeah, makes your championship matchup is going down this Monday at the Superdome. I'm we got Clemson. Clemson. I'm liking we got Clemson. LSU. How you liking Clemson after what we just showed you? Because Trevor Lawrence, 3,431 yards, 36 touchdowns, okay. eight picks. Okay. And he ran for for 514 okay, do, yards with eight touchdowns. Okay, do I? Travis it, Etienne. Okay. Etienne. Okay. 1,536 yards, 18 touchdowns. Received for four, 396, almost 400 yards and four touchdowns. They are playing so, in the okay. Superdome. Hit they hit they are the, the second best touch, the best second best team in the country. Hit him with the Joe Burrow stats. They they oh, playing man. in the Superdome. They playing to me because I seen ticket sales. Five hundred yards. Forty percent of the tickets already have went to LSU and Louisiana folks. I think maybe they said twenty percent have went to Clemson or whatnot. It's gonna be like a Saints game if the Saints were playing, but it's LSU. You're gonna have the whole state. Of the, it's gonna be a home field advantage. Period. It's going to be a home field advantage. And I believe that Clemson. Period. They're not going to see anything like that. Trevor Lawrence was playing what, 3, in the Superdome? No, because they coming in. 4,000 with they, the rush. Yeah, because they just don't know Sunday we feeding them small crawfish. What finish with? 52. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one six picks. I say Sunday we're gonna we're gonna feed him some small crawfish. So I take it that, oh. that I take it that Wayne is the only one going for Clemson. Wow. So 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 who's taking what? The I got Clemson, official man. picks for I got LSU by like seventeen points. I really bro. got Clemson because I picked them to start the season, so I'm gonna stick with them. That's just because you didn't think LSU would have been that good though. You, you got a point spirit? I know you didn't think LSU would have oh, been that good. I still think it's a shootout. And I think oh, no. Clemson's Ain't no last. shootout. How about you, Rich? I have LSU winning by Ain't 19. No by 19? Ain't no yeah. shootout. I'm going to say LSU by 10. Because that's still the national champion you're playing. And I believe they still got that championship medal, but they're not going to beat them. Not, you're not beating no, LSU you in don't. the Superdome. You, you're not it's them. not the Superdome. They could have played Clarkfield. You're pretty much going to have to outscore them. And that's not good. And that's not good. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And if they start out slow, if Clemson starts out slow, if you miss a possession, if you miss one possession against LSU, you in trouble. No, it's not if it's not if it's not if you miss a possession. You in trouble if you you mess around and punt that ball two, three times in a row. You're gonna be down twenty one points. It's bad. If Clemson starts out the way they started out, like they did against Ohio State, and then get cranked up to the second quarter, LSU, LSU don't waste no time scoring. No, no games. I like what I like about Joe. They come out immediately. I like Joe Burrow's decisiveness, and if he come out, the only thing that's wor- that worries me with that is he ain't had a bad game yet. So what you waiting so, for? So so you have to How have a bad game. How long you gonna be waiting though? So you have know. so you have to have a bad game. I don't know. Oh, you- so I guess you feel the same way about Lamar Jackson. So you've been watching this just a little This man just, just, man just threw seven touchdowns in the final four, and you waiting for him to have a bad game? Oh no, my I'm just God. saying, I, I ain't saw one. Just yet. an interesting little so stat you- for everybody: the conference bowl records. Know, the SEC was six and two. Uh, the Big Ten was four and four. The ACC went four and five. The Big Twelve one and five, and the Pac twelve went four and three. So yeah. the SEC six well, and two. You could make that seven and two, and you could make that four and six. I think the only six and two, the only two teams that lost for the SEC. Auburn, like Mississippi State, and Auburn. Yep. Yeah. 
Now let's give UL some love because they made it to the Linden Tree Bowl. They played uh when that was they played, Ohio, they played Miami, Miami of Ohio. Ohio. Miami, Ohio. Monday night. Yeah, Monday they night. played on Monday night. Monday and uh congratulations, last. man. The Linden Bowl Tree Champions. Linden Tree Bowl, Bowl tree. man. Bought your Linden Bowl Tree. Oh my the God. Linden <laughs> the Linden Tree Bowl Champions. <laughs> I didn't mean to say see y'all the way y'all say they make it sound like a joke. I mean, well, get it right. You don't need to be messing up Come right on, now. Man. This shout is out to the, go ahead and get a stat. Shout out to the Linden Tree man. Yeah. No, shout out to UL, man. Whoa! Shout out to you, well, um, Levi go. Lewis. Levi go. Lewis ended up the player of the game. Um, Levi Lewis had he went nineteen for twenty six passing for two hundred and forty six yards, <laughs> two touchdowns. He also had eight rushes for sixty two yards. Player of the game, um, Elijah Mitchell. He had eleven carries for fifty five yards and a touchdown. Um, Jamarcus Bradley, he had seven catches, 88 yards, and two touchdowns. He did really good out there. UL beat Miami of Ohio 27-17. This was the first time that uh, UL has, well, USL has beaten a team outside of Louisiana in a bowl game since 1944 when they defeated the Texas A&M Aggies 24-7 in the Oil Bowl in Houston, Texas. The yeah. Oil Bowl. So shout out to the Raging Cajuns. Since Get, when? Getting there, since 1944. Ooh, that's the last time man, they won 50, outside of Louisiana. Years, man. 60 years. And, and look, this is the first time in UL history that they have 11-win season. Yeah. So shout out do to we, UL Raging Cajuns. Do we Congratulations. Have a, do we have a graphic of what the trophy for the Linden Tree Bowl look, look like? No, I just got that up. Uh, the graphic, they graphic, they want graphic. I just put up there. Yeah, they got a. You get oh a check. God. You get a check. You don't get a bunch of bad uh, black oranges. Okay. Like the orange. In the bowl. orange bowl. <laughs> you get a ceramic bowl of orange. Yeah, rotten orange. Well, shout out to the Linden Tree, man. The, shout out to shout the out Linden UL, Tree Bowl. And no. Shout out to the Linden Tree Bowl champion, UL. Just know Ray that his, his name is Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Let's get to NBA, man. NBA. I'm good. I'm We've been good. out of here for two weeks. And before we had got out of here, it was me, Waylon, and Ridge. And we were previewing the Christmas games that were coming up. So we figured we'd give everybody the scores of the Christmas games that happened on Christmas Day since we weren't in here to give them to everybody so uh this is what happened on christmas day you had the rockets uh <laughs> losing to the warriors you had the pelicans beating the nuggets pelicans played well uh shout out to brandon ingram Waylon been toting yep. him the whole time the other night been balling celtics <laughs> beat the raptors 76ers beat the bucks and the clippers had beat the lakers so that's what happened on christmas day shout out to the lakers man we back you always back. We back, always baby. Back. Now, just to kind of let everybody know what had happened on Christmas, these are the scores that we had from last night because starting next week, we're about to really dedicate a lot more time to NBA and to college basketball, matter of fact. But let's get into these scores from last night. We had the Lakers and we had the Knicks. Uh, Lakers fan, y'all want to expand on it? LeBron, 31-5-5. Brian, Brian. AD went Brian, down Brian. With, a, uh, with a bruised tailbone or something like that. Gluta, he got games. a glutus maximus contusion. He yeah. going to be all right. He's going like, to right. be out for one game. He'll be all right. Just one no, game. He's not going to be two out. Games. Huh? Two games. Two games what? He going to miss two games. Yeah, they said at least two. He traveling with the team, but fantasy. he going to miss two they, games. They Shout out two. to the Lakers, yeah, man. The goat, man. The number one record in the West. The goat. And we taking care of our business. LeBron smashing they say the LeBron West. couldn't do. He only was winning because he was in the East. He doing the same thing in the West. Okay, seeing the Nets, Bruh. they went into Bruh. overtime. Uh, one eleven, one oh three. Chris Paul, twenty eight, six and three. A lot of people forgot Chris Paul I, was in hey, OKC. I, I don't, Chris I don't think I want to trade him. Hey, they started <laughs> eleven and fourteen, and have won like. They didn't turn that all the way around. They got a nice year Like 9 out of 11 or something. They like didn't that. turn that all the way around, so they doing real good. This yeah. is my rookie of the year right here, John Morant. John yeah. Morant Should be everybody rookie too. of the year. Oh, Timberwolves yeah. speaking, and... Speaking uh, of John Morant, he got Timberwolves it. and Grizzlies, hold on. 119, 112, John Morant, 25, 4, and 7. Go ahead. John Morant got invited to the dunk contest, so he's going to be in the dunk contest and Did Dwight he Howard. He, didn't, he got accepted, though. I don't think he's going to accept it. I don't think he's going to accept it, though. He, he hadn't did it yet. Not Howard? to say he's not going to do ja. it. Well, I don't know. He said that I, I think he's going to do it. He got I don't the invitation. So. He hadn't accepted it. I don't think yet. he will. Next I, game, we got I the Kings I and the Suns. Sacramento 114 uh, to 103 beating the Suns. De'Aaron Fox 27 4 Fox. 6. De'Aaron Fox baller. been playing good ball. He's he been, been quietly balling ball. the last couple nah, of years. Nah, it's just that he in Sacramento. That's, I, that's, why, I say, that's, that's why I say he's been quietly balling. Phil left his homeboy too soon. 
<laughs> he left him too soon. Oh, Melo, yeah. 28 and 7. How do you leave somebody, though? 101 to 99. I know. That's they my beat problem. the rap. How you leave And I like Carmelo. I'm always like yeah, How you don't like Melo, though? And then he hit the game winning shot last night, yeah, too. Yeah, he hit the game winning yeah. shot. Melo starting to find his way. Shout out to La La Anthony. Oh, yeah. Oh, shout, shout out. Shout out. La La La. So these are your standings right here for the NBA. This is the Eastern Conference. I'm going to just go through the uh, top eight. You got the Bucks at number one at 32 and six. Uh, you got the Celtics at number two. I got Heat the at number three. And the Lakers in the finals. Uh, the Raptors at number four. 76 is at number five. Pacers at number six. Magic at number seven. And the Nets at number eight. That's in the Eastern Conference. The, the, oh, your team? What your team is? Oh, the AT? Which I is? 16 and 20? The Nets. Ryan I'm is just, a Nets fan. I'm just, just a, a conscious uh, so observer. Knows. Conscious observer. Ryan right is now. a Nets fan. No, I'm a KD fan. Don't and start. And he played for the Nets. Don't start. He played for the Nets. Yeah, and he ain't played this year. He played for the Nets. Western Conference standings. Number one team, Lakers. Number two is the Denver Nuggets. Number three, Houston Rockets. Number four, Clippers. Number five, the Jazz. Number six, the Mavs. Number seven, OKC. And number eight is the San Antonio Spurs. Mm. And all right, all right. And this mm. leads to your power rankings. Right, Brian, right, Brian right, dominating right. the West, man. Week twelve power they say rankings. Brian couldn't win in the West. Number one team is the Milwaukee. <laughs> well, I got thirty Bucks. wins already. <laughs> number two is the Lakers. Number Stop three that, is man. the Celtics. Number four is the Clippers. Number five is the Heat. Six is the Rockets, seven the Raptors, eight the Nuggets, nine the Jazz, and ten the Mavericks. All right, all right, all right. Brian dominating the West. And see, we got a lot of NBA stuff to go through. Uh, player of the month for the month of December in the East, it was the Greek Freak, averaged 29.3 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists, Giannis. and his team went 13 and 2 during that time. Mr. Whalen. And the, the West, best offensive player ever, Mr. Taylor. The man James himself. James Harden, 37.3, 37 six assists, and, and uh, five rebounds. The team, went doing that the whole five. team went 10 and 5. Team went 10 and 5. Yeah, you're right. Time, he, right. Averaging oh, almost, yeah. he averaging you know, almost 40 you, points for the whole season you know right Jordan now. Averaged, you know Jordan averaged 37 in a year. Yeah, he did. Now, your player of the yeah, week, you know, like did. I said, we're going to start kind of catching up on everything. Yeah. This is the player of the week for last week. Uh, Greek Freak, he won the player of the month. Now, you got player of the week, 29, oh 11, and he 3. Good. He auditioned. 3 and 0 during that and time. And look who up there. And LeBron, 23, 11, Bron, and Bron. 12 with a steal. 12 assists. They're 3 and 0 during that 11 time. rebounds. So, those are your player of the that's month. A, oh, that's a triple double, man. Week. In it's year seven, yeah, Red, you can count. Go ahead on. In year seventeen, well, I'm, I'm just surprised you didn't announce that. Oh, and uh, well, no, if I'm I, saying, I, the numbers, I know you're not gonna put it up there, but because, last because night I have a triple double stat for, that for, I'm, I'm for show the league leaders on triple double for the people that before might not we do know that, can I say this? Is. LeBron passed mm -hmm. the uh, Allen Iverson last night for most steals all time. He's now 13th. Wow, wonderful first. So wonderful. he's amazing. Wonderful. He does everything. He's amazing. Just wonderful. That's what goats do. So the NBA is not going to just turn into the LeBron segment for us. We got other players. No, I'm LeBron. Y'all can saying, talk about who y'all want to talk about. I mean, you keep showing, points you per keep game. You know what show when we come up on here. You know what show. You keep showing points them on per the screen. game. The best Number offensive one, player James ever. James Harden. And you the best player. Boy, get out of here. Offense, I said. Yes. Uh, Offense. James Harden, 38 points a game. Jordan and average 38. Two. Can I right. finish saying the points? Oh, okay. Thank you. Get on. <laughs> God, Greek Freak, number two. Luca, number three at 29 a game. Uh, Trey Young, fourth at 28 a game. And Bradley Bill, he's at fifth with 27 a game. Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill, hurt. Assists per game. You got LeBron at 11. He's been holding up the assist lead pretty much all season. Oh, he, will. he will. Ricky Rubio, he's new to the standings at number two. He got nine assists a game. You got Luca almost at nine. He's at 8.9. Ben Simmons at 8.6. And Trey Young at 8.3. Well, Trey, Trey Young is amazing. So good. You that seen that pass he put so between good. that defender leg? Oh, man. Oh, what about the one when he act like he was going to pass yeah, it by his back the, oh, oh, Rebounds per game. You got I, so good. Andre yeah, Drummond. Nice. He got 15.9 a game. Rudy Gobert at 14. 14.2, Clint Capella 14.2, Hassan Whiteside 13.9, and Demonis Sabonis at 13 a game. Rebounds. Capella, man. Capella, and, I'm telling you, that's the difference. And your steals, you got Ben Simmons. Uh, he's leading with 2.2, Jimmy Butler with 2, Chris Dunn with 2, Andre Drummond with 2. So, wow, he's on the uh, Drummond, steals list, baby. too. Rebounds yeah. and, okay. Drummond. And uh, him Van and Fleet Simmons. with almost 2, and your blocks. And the Greek Freak. 1.9. No, we ain't got the blocks. Okay. Say almost two. Triple double. This is why I was telling you, Reg. We got the triple double lead. I'm going to start bringing this up every week, too. Uh, regular season. You got Luka Doncic with 11 on the season. You got LeBron with Brian, 9 Brian. on the season. Brian, Brian. You got the Joker, uh, 7. He had a got, game the other day. 47. Who, uh, Joker. Ooh, man. 47 the Joker. points. That was a league. That was a career high for that him. That dude is. 
Westbrook Man. with a six, Jimmy Butler with three, Giannis with three, you can ben stop right there. with three, uh, Draymond <laughs> with two, Bam with two, and Kyrie, Kyrie with one. Oh, Ryan got a uh, net up there. Uh, right. net. Right. He, right. he ain't right. playing either. Boy, y'all nets in in disarray right now. Hey, yeah. waiting on KD to come back. That's mm. it. Nah, anybody got anything else on uh All Star? Hold on. All star votes, baby. Yeah, we got the East and the West All Stars. Your East All Stars, right here. This is uh, we still got time for voting. If you still want to go ahead and vote, you can yeah, go ahead NBA.com. Go, go ahead and vote. I ain't voted yet. I vote every year. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna vote tonight. Greek Freak, uh, over a million votes. Joel Embiid, he's in second place with the votes. Pascal Siakam, he's in third that's place East? with the votes. Yeah, that's the East. Oh, I was about to say. Trey Young, he's in fourth place with the votes, and that Kyrie Irving, bro. he is fifth. And going on with the West, you got Luca. Fraud alert. He's leading. Fraud the, alert. Uh, He's saying Western that like Conference. that's his fraud that's alert. His friend. You got Luca, LeBron, Anthony Davis, go. James Harden, and Kawhi. Those Lakers are your leaders. There. Look at them Lakers up the, there. Uh, for the West out there. Mm -hmm. So Ryan got a clipper. Ryan a clipper fan too, y'all. He got a clipper up there. Yeah, Kawhi, I like the clippers. Luca. Clipper fan and, too. And, Clipper fan too. So what else we got? Anybody got anything else on <laughs> the NBA? LeBron bro? hater. Uh, oh, I just want to say the Lakers did win five straight, six straight. I'm sorry since the Christmas break. Yep, yeah, we went on yes, a little sir. stretch. We went on a little stretch where we lost uh, four in a row. And yeah, yeah let's, let's just say that too. And look, we, we uh, okay. We lost. We lost four. It. I'm we not lost. Keeping it real. We lost four in a row. <laughs> look the way he looked at Wayne. We talked about that though. <laughs> we lost four in a row. We talked about that. In first we weren't here for Christmas. Losers. <laughs> you heard, huh? We lost four in a row and we still in first place. And won six straight. We good. Yeah, good. I'm Taking the care of business. We on the Every day. So how much time we got left? We got about we on time. anyway. Okay. Taking so, care of business. This is the part of the program <laughs> where we used to call it life. We're gonna call it hot topics because life is just too ambiguous and we don't know what life is. So Man. we're gonna call it hot topics. It's, and whatever it's, it's, we come up with is what called, we're gonna come it's up called with. life hot topics. That's what it's called. No, it's called hot topics. Topics. No, you can't change the name. No, it's, it, it's hot topic. We life hot topics. Hot you want to debate this too? We, we can debate whatever you want to debate. You want to debate ten minutes? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so what y'all got, man? What's All up? Right. What's what you up? got, fur? Um, I got a question. Just in the midst of the world being and the technology and just so social media um dominant nowadays oh wow you got into your very white uh bag right there no i'm just saying because <laughs> i'm only yeah, gonna I scream when i'm debating lebron because no, y'all you know saying i gotta let y'all hear what i'm saying <laughs> Dial okay one, my eight, question eight, is eight, man nine, has so seven six and <laughs> call me late at night <laughs> 5.99 a minute be sure Lord you have your parents permission make sure you uh, have your pillow when i you wish call. i could talk to y'all like this when we talking LeBron, but y'all just yeah, cause you scream and holler. Yeah, because y'all ignorant you. sometimes. Come on, man. Uh, my question will be: Has social media benefited or harmed people's social lives? Harmed. Reason. Well, it's taken away reason. The, the dating, you know, the the actual setting up a date and a lot being of able to converse. Uh, yeah, that's a lot what of I people don't even get is. out. I mean, the problem right now is a lot of people ain't getting out and being active out in the world. And now that you can date online, you really ain't got to go nowhere to meet nobody. So it's taking out the human interaction. Just, so you saying harmful? I'm not on social oh, media, so harmful. I really wouldn't be able. Very to, harmful. You don't I, even I, have. I mean, but even no down, more. even down to the, uh, you know, like your, your your kids and stuff, and like with school and you know, like how we used to have to go look at encyclopedia, and you know, you had to learn things. Now you just ask YouTube or Google, and you don't have to learn it. You could just follow it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, but in the same, in 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 another sense, though, it's it's all so good because they able to learn stuff faster than we would have ever learned it you know what i mean so well, i mean i see a lot of it whenever i'm doing interviews and stuff at, at work and it's just you gotta have a social yeah you gotta know how to be social you gotta be sociable like, like, you yeah. know what i'm saying i mean and if you're not out in the world and you just scrolling facebook all the time and my kids do it. They go home and they sit on Mine the couch. Mine do too. They're addicted. They I sit think there it's, it's, and, and don't even cut the TV on. They, they, have, be in they, the they, house they, they, they have addicted. They, they That's have, my biggest problem. They have like knowing how to talk to somebody. Like, yeah, like being be in public to... and like starting a conversation. Hey, how you doing? That's right. They There's, don't have the social skills. None. I've I've seen people look me dead in my eyes and just don't say nothing. Like, hey, how you doing? And they'll 
like I ain't say nothing. Like that's yeah. kind of like you see you're the generation like, before our generation of kids that's coming up. Like my son, and I'm sure like Red with Andre or whatnot. The yeah, younger one, that's but coming I still up. keep up with it. It's I just that's my to, thing, man. They're not gonna have no social none. interaction. Zero. Skills, like, everything is. Huh? You Facebook know. You know what they. You know what I say. What, what, what I say. They have. They have. They have technical sense. They don't have common sense. And I started to see the none. trend, they and I kind of I started to see the trend, and I'm like, I don't think I want to be like that. So I mean, I kind of. It's like, just, you got to step out. It's, it's, and just, just, certain, it's, it's just weird, man. It's at certain points of, the, of your life, you're going to have to shake somebody's hand, look exactly. them in the eye. And, Regardless, no matter and, you what. Know, give them a firm grip, and you just can't do all that stuff on Facebook. But a lot of that a lot of that also comes from the situation at home. You know, for you, you had two brothers that, that yeah. was a little older, exactly. and we, we have a different generation yeah, exactly. where we and come I, from. You got a chance to see yeah. and witness all of that. First so, hand. So you I'm, can make a, di a, a difference. Yeah. Some kids, they the only time. grew up with in their time yeah. you know what i mean and don't know what it was like on the other end you yeah. know and you know what and and to go off of what you were saying do you think that your children born today will have a will have better or worse lives than than you as a parent i mean it's, it's really i just always think you're a product of your parents so i'm gonna just i well, mean this well, is what you it's your, you're a product that, of your parents it bro, just depends so. on what they're gonna do in life because if they go and they can go and apply for google and work at the Google office, then they going to know how to work the internet and all the devices. But if you get in some hands-on real world work, mm -hmm. they going to struggle. Like if you live in California, well, no, it all depends though. Like if you live in California, it all depends what you're showing them. Then that's good because you have. Because I mean, that. yo, I mean, your kids is direct line of you, man. No matter what, and not I say really. this all the time. Not, I'm not, a direct line of my parents, bro. And like not, he said, and my brothers, bro. Like the people I've been around is. Not it's really. Evident, yes. Not really, yeah. because you, you really you show you people you things. Even, you can't even discipline the same way no more. So I who mean, can't discipline? Why? Because social media says so. Because you see, age, that's the problem. Because, no, because, no, 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 no. They'll come arrest you. Because this Adrian happened back Peterson in my home. Who's they? Adrian, Who's controlling that? Adrian like, Peterson like, went to jail. Back in Beaumont, Texas, when I went back home, OCS, you know, the child. When I went back home for Texas, there was the there was a teacher that had recorded this mother. Whipping her child at school, well, like I mean, mother. Hold on, like mothers used to do all the time, and they called CPS. They came took her child. Yeah. Yeah. this was on the news. No, this but that's the difference between abusing and no, disciplining, bro. The school called so, the mama so to you, discipline the child, so you think and a, she came you, discipline you the child. Adrian, it's not abuse. You think Adrian Peterson was abusing the child? Huh? You think Adrian Peterson was abusing his kid? I don't know. I think he's spanking. I don't know. Spanking your child I think is not he's spanking abusing. Spanking, and he went to but jail. Social media but I don't know. I don't know about that. I can't speak that. on that. Social media will have you believe in that. Exactly. Though. Exactly. It'll Ryan. Have you exactly. Yeah, it will. Social that's media right. controlling that, bro. You can't tell me I can't discipline my kid. But, but that's the majority media. going with that, though. The, question the majority is, don't control the question what you is, do, though. It the should. Question, that's the reason why social shouldn't. media being harmful. It shouldn't. But it is. The question is: Is social media making it better, better, worse? And that shouldn't control that. In that instance, though. In that instance, you can spank your kid, and your kid got. A social media device and just can go post it. Or if anybody no, did that, man, that we don't go do like that, that man. No, we couldn't do that back like in the day. Watch the hey, news first. Listen, it's on listen, there, bro. listen, fur. You had to go fur. to bed with back, a well back then. Behind. Back then, whenever, yeah. back then, whenever, they cried out in your room. Whenever right. we was younger and we would get a whipping. You take that whipping like a man, and you go in your room. That. Now, hold on, listen. Was that abuse listen. or discipline, though? Can you listen? Can Was that you abuse listen? or discipline? Can you listen? I'm listening. Go ahead. Listen? I'm listening. But it's go to ahead. the masses. If you would, the masses you would, you would get it. a whipping, okay, and that would be the end of it. Right. All right. Nowadays. If you whip your child uh -huh. and your child go in his room that's and right. he call OCS and oh, say, man, listen to me, listen to oh, me. Oh, so why you didn't call it then? Oh, 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 oh. Why you didn't call it? Listen to what I'm saying, man. We had no Can phone I listen? at all, <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying. When, when he gonna make that phone come call? On, when he come gonna on, make man. when he gonna make that phone right. call? You gonna have somebody coming to your house? Okay, okay, that's crazy. We have that a lot crazy. more back, other back topics. Like this one here too. No, that is. We have crazy. a lot more topics. No. Y'all can go ahead and that check us like out that, on our that YouTube don't go like that. channel. I guarantee you, our YouTube channel, the Division Podcast. Stories. Go ahead and check us out. You on just there. told me. Go ahead. You just told me your story. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Promo time. Promo time. Promo time, y'all. Promo time. I'm trying to promote us. Now. Shout out YouTube to the channel, mm, The Division Podcast. Go ahead and check us out. Uh, this episode is going to be on TV, AOC Open Access, Channel 15, if you're in Lafayette and Wick Cox, uh, this Friday at 6 p.m. Nope. 
uh, Shout our out Facebook. To the yeah, yeah, man. Welcome back, man. Our we're Facebook back. page, The Division what? Podcast. Go ahead and check us out there. Plus, we're on iTunes and Google Play. Look for The Division Podcast. Look for our little logo we're right back, there. That's baby. how it looks right we're there. Back. And we're back. And we're anybody better. else in closing? 2020 and we here. Yeah, yeah. All, all, I, all I can say is take that whipping and don't call OCS. I want to say, uh, uh, we I how you on my it. side? Wow. I want to say <laughs> shout out. Uh, tomorrow's January the night. Shout out to my wife. We are uh, 10 years been married. Decade, oh, yeah. man. Happy anniversary, Vanny. Happy anniversary. Vanny. Happy anniversary, Vanny. Happy anniversary, Mr. Taylor. And my little sister Nikki, her birthday is tomorrow in Japan. So shout out, Nikki. Happy birthday, yeah. Nikki. Way overseas. Way overseas. And just one thing I got to say, uh, pray for the soldiers. That's, That's all I got to say. Shout out. <laughs> I pray for y'all. Yeah. Hey, pray for the soldiers. And, pray for the soldiers. And, and pray for the Cowboys. The, man, yeah, don't, don't put that together like that. Man. I'm trying to give a, a sensible. Come on, man. Don't put that together. Oh, uh, don't put that together like that. Anyway, I'm Ryan G, your moderator. <laughs> it's Fur, the LeBron fan. And I'm Mr. Taylor. And I'm Reggie F. Baby, the number one saint. <laughs> we going to holler at y'all next time, man. Peace. Episode episode 22. We out. E22.